have a blog, a YouTube channel, an Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook account, or are actively using any other type of social media platform, you may want to consider keeping all of this content in one location. And while there are a wide range of options for organizing your content creation, I have chosen to store this information in a planner. So this video was a request from Roguelike Planner and in response to her question, I'm going to show you both the setup and the planning process I use in my social media planner. A Webster's Pages color crush in the personal size. But if you don't need a social media planner, you can still apply these concepts to organizing your life, such as planning for projects, cooking, cleaning, finances, fitness, hobbies, and so much more. Here are timestamps for each of the sections that I'll be discussing in case you'd like to watch them in a different order. To set this planner up, I'm going to add my name using some clear sticker paper. Then I'm going to use more clear sticker paper to start labeling the tabs. These tabs are leftovers from the March Planner Society kit, but Christy Tomlinson usually includes new ones every month. I'm adhering the tabs to the decorative sheets that came with the planner to use them as a subdivider. The planner also came with these dividers that are labeled with names like Memory Keeping and Stay Inspired, but since this is my social media planner, those names don't really work for me, so I'm covering them up using more of the Planner Society tabs. So I purchased this note paper, which will act as a blank canvas for me to work on. And this planner is already pre-punched and ready to go. So under for video ideas, my first tab is brainstorming. Here under brainstorming in the video idea section, I am devoting a page to each of the video subject categories that I include on my channel. So for example, plan with me video ideas is on one page, how to video ideas is on another, then DIY planner accessory video ideas, faith planner ideas, etc. And on that page, I write down potential videos that I could film in the future that fall into that category. For example, on my plan with me ideas page, I wrote down all pen layout plan with me video. And since this is a brainstorming page, I, I free myself to write down whatever video idea that I come up with, even if I'm probably not going to end up using that idea later on. I tend to come up with my ideas at random times throughout the day when I'm working on something else. And when that happens, I open up this planner and I write my ideas down. I keep a table of contents page under my video content tab. Here I list the titles of the videos and the pages that I'm keeping my ideas for that video on. For example, the first video is the social media planner video on page one. I write the title at the top of the page, social media planner. And underneath that is a checkbox for whether this video has been uploaded onto my channel yet. Then there is a section for materials needed. So for this video, I needed the planner society divider tabs and clear stickers and note paper. And I try to break down the video content into the main ideas like YouTube channel, Instagram and Facebook for this video and I wanted to have the categories of video ideas, photo ideas, analytics, community, and calendar. And then expanding on those ideas, for example, with analytics, I wanted to break that into a budget and add up the cost of my channel, print out the stats for 2017, etc. If you have a block, instead of a video idea section, you could use this section to organize your different blog posts ideas and if you don't have social media you could use a section for organizing different home improvement projects or hobbies etc i really like using a table of contents because it keeps everything organized and i can just reference this table of contents and look up the page number of that video 
that I'm going to do right before I film it so I make sure that I'm including all the content that I had planned out. The next section is photo ideas. So this would just be for my Instagram. For each photo, I would put the title, the materials that I'm going to need, and then I have a section for hashtags so that that morning when I am looking for ideas for what photo to take, I can flip to the section for photo ideas, look through my list that I have, see what's going to go into the photo, and then once I post the photo, make sure that I include the hashtags that I selected. Under the analytics tab, I once again used my clear sticker paper and I went into my YouTube channel account, into the analytics section, and I took screenshots of some of the information. So these are my analytics as of December 31st, 2017. So it's kind of just like a screenshot of where my channel was at at the very end of last year. Here I have my watch time. I also have my top 10 videos to figure out what are the most popular categories, what you enjoy watching. I went through the top 40 or so videos and I broke it up into the top five categories So the top one is how-to videos, which includes my free printable videos Those seem to be the most popular then faith journaling videos Functional planning videos DIY planner accessory videos and then planning for beginners videos I also have a list of traffic sources. This tells me where the people who are watching the videos are coming from. So most of it is suggested in blue, then YouTube search, then browse features, and then other. And I also included the graph of my subscribers. The next category is budget. This is in order to make sure that I'm not overspending. So the cost of my channel per month is $55. That's for things like my, the software that I use to edit the videos. I have to purchase a subscription for um, Epidemic Sound, which it, uh, provides royalty-free music that I can use on my channel legally. I use PicMonkey in order to edit my thumbnails and every time I do a giveaway I have to pay for the items I'm giving away and pay for shipping so all of these and all the equipment that I'm using on my channel all of these things add up so it's important that I'm making sure I don't go over this amount per month The next tab is community, and I'm breaking this into three different categories. The first one are video requests. So for example, the video that I'm filming right now, this was a, a video request by Rogue Like Planner. But I also get several other video requests throughout the year, and I really try hard to respond to each of those requests. I have a column for the name of the, or the video request, what that video is going to be about, the date that the person requested it, and then the date that I need to film by. So just as an example, I have way more video requests than this, but someone asked for me to do a video on how I make the Happy Planner clip clips out of clay, and so they requested that in October and I was able to post the video by December so I can check these videos off that they have been filmed and I have responded to the request. And this is essentially a tracker to make sure that I am caught up on all of my comments comments for YouTube, 
all of my comments for Instagram and all my comments for Facebook for that week that I have rich on the left. And I will add on to this tracker as the month goes on. This is my tracker for giveaway. So each month I do, I host a giveaway on my YouTube channel. And the first box is whether or not I've prepped the prizes, then announce the giveaway winner, package the prizes for mailing, actually gone to the post office and mailed it out, and then sent the tracking number to the winner of the giveaway. And I have this plastic pouch here where I keep the receipts from the post office with the tracking number of the person who won just to keep for reference in the future. My last section is my calendar section. In this first pouch, I'm going to be keeping strips of stickers that are going to go into my calendar. So I printed these off on the clear sticker paper once again. These are made from my drawings with the exception of this one that's actually from Microsoft Word. But I have a video showing how you can make, turn your drawings into stickers, which I will link down below. So as you can see, these stickers fit right into the pouch and they're ready to go. I have these mm -hmm. stickers that say upload on here. So I post a new video every single Saturday. So the first thing I'm going to do is label Saturday with this sticker. In order to plan out my videos for the month, I'm referencing my video idea table contents page to see which videos I've already brainstormed content for and I just draw from that page and write it down in the monthly section. And then I kind of backtrack from this. So what sorts of things do I need to get done in order to post this video? Well, one of the things is that I'm going to have to film it. And since there's this section right here and because I film on Saturdays, I'm going to extend this section out so that it's part of Saturday. I also have this camera icon, which indicates that I need to take a photo for my Instagram to use as a thumbnail. Sunday through Friday are my editing days. So instead of putting this sticker on every single day, I just draw this arrow to represent that the editing is going to be going on every day that of that week, Sunday through Friday. So this top section is for my goals. I upload and film on Saturdays and uploading is broken down into upload video, add title and description, add tags, add end screen post to Instagram, and post to Facebook. Filming is broken down into film intro, film content, and film b-roll. The camera icon denotes that I need to take a photo for the thumbnail of that video. And I also plan out the content for the following week's video on Sunday and begin the editing process for that the video I filmed on Saturday the day before. So hopefully this video gave you some new ideas for ways you can set up and organize your thoughts in your planner, whether or not you need to use it for social media. If you'd like to see more planner ideas, please check out my Instagram at personalizedmyplanner, and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye!